in today's video, I'm going to explain you why some of the biggest names in Fortnite, like Nor Riley and Face Mongrel, are switching off the Alpha Performance Mode to DirectX 11. But on the other hand, I'm also going to tell you why you as a player shouldn't switch. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This will help me out so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And as you guys might know, just recently a ton of Fortnite pros, especially in the tier 1 and tier 2 category, are switching off the alpha performance mode to DirectX 11 or 12. And I just went into Fortnite and compared both of these modes, you know, just to find out what might be maybe like the main issue for them to actually switch off. And I have to say, I instantly noticed what they mean when they said that DirectX 11 is just so much better and the performance mode is broken. If you guys take a look right now here in the background guys, you can see some gameplay recorded on the alpha performance mode on the left side and on the right side you just see a clip of Mongrel's latest cash cow and please just compare the visibility. As you can see on the alpha performance mode when I'm standing in the zone you literally can't see nothing. It's super hard to see something from inside and from outside of the zone because your whole image is just like pink and it's super blurry and especially in the distance you can't see anything. And if we take a look at the footage from Mongrel here we can clearly see that you have full vision especially also if you're inside of the zone you can still see everything super detailed on the ground and it is a hundred percent a lot easier to spot enemies especially if you're storm fighting and now let's go fast forward mongrel is right now here in the end game and you know like especially in like high tier lobbies where like tons of fortnite pros it's not quite uncommon that someone is hiding in zone or you're moving directly at the zone border you know you're just trying to stay alive and get in and you just simply come in contact with this zone border quite often and on the alpha performance mode your visibility is just limited if we take a look right now here again at mongrel's gameplay in the background you can clearly see that you still have full vision while actually being inside the storm and this is so important especially for end games and solo cash cups and just generally for competition in Fortnite. I'm just gonna show you as well another example here of a top tier endgame and you can see it for yourself guys on the alpha performance mode this wouldn't be possible. Like Mongol can see everything here, he can see enemies, he can also push someone inside and outside of the storm just because he has full visibility and on the alpha performance mode his all image would be like pink and super blurry and I think it would be really annoying actually to compete on the alpha performance mode. Other than that even Fortnite pros themselves said that they really like the alpha performance mode builds but it's simply just not possible to play with it because you have such a big competitive disadvantage at the moment. And since actually most of the Fortnite pro players switched again from 360 Hz to 240 because it's just way more consistent and stable, they are not forced anymore to actually play on the alpha performance mode since they still get high enough FPS to fire up a 240 Hz monitor on DirectX 11. And now we come back to the part where I would just want to tell you guys, especially if you're playing like on a low end PC or you're just struggling with FPS, of course still stick with the alpha performance mode. It's still really really good and you can just tweak a little bit in your colorblind settings actually, I'm just gonna leave a link link in the description guys where I show you how to make your game way more vibrant and just get like the overall best colorblind settings for chapter 2 season 8. Please keep in mind this only really comes down to top tier tier 1 fortnite lobbies like literally if you're on the top of the top where it's super important to see everything in end games in rotations and therefore you can of course still use the alpha performance mode. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below, I'm highly interested and with that said please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me with so so much. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this, and until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace.